We're Kels, Jay, like and Pippa. Oh. And we're currently living full-time in our self-converted transit van as we travel all around the US. Today we're going to show you how we can afford to do this and bring you with us through a busy week of working and traveling on the road. Van, you are beautiful. So we woke up this morning somewhere in Pennsylvania by the Appalachian Trail. We wanted to go get a nice trail because our half Ironman is in four weeks so we still have to train. Fortunately it's raining a little bit so I'm just gonna have to take the trainer inside the van and get a little too close for comfort with Jay. That's not rain. Oh, it's steamy. All right, just got done. I think I'm gonna wash off in the rain because it is still raining out and I don't feel like taking everything out to shower. <laughs> just had a scrumptious lunch slash dinner. And now we got about three more hours of driving. The driving don't stop. Tennessee, here we come. When we first set off on this journey in our bus in June of 2020, we had no real plan. No real jobs, but we had the faith that everything would work out in the end. About a month into our journey, Jenna from the YouTube channel Tiny House Giant Journey asked if we wanted to work for her and help film and edit tiny home tours for her channel as we travel. And we immediately said yes. Working for her has been one of the best things that has ever happened to us. Not only is it what keeps us on the road, but it also often helps dictate where we go as it sets a route for us so we aren't always aimlessly wandering. It offers some sense of stability. Just got in Tennessee, but Jay's only 10 I see, so we haven't seen any signs. That's probably why. We often find ourselves in the coolest places surrounded by the most amazing people. This week we found ourselves in Newport, Tennessee filming incredible tiny homes. It's an amazing place run by Randy Jones where him and his team build hundreds of affordable tiny homes every year. You can get your tiny home built at an affordable price and park it there after if you want. So we've been here filming all day for Tiny House Giant Journey. And this place is insane, you guys. I can't wait for you to see it on her channel. Yeah, we got a golf cart. Somehow this always happens. And we're gonna go to the top of the mountain and look at the view from there. So Randy's the guy that we've been hanging out with all day and he basically is building the most affordable tiny home in the country and they're amazing. They're so well done. And the turnaround time is like eight months, or no, it's like two months, but his wait time is like eight months right now. So just thought I would mention it to you guys if you're looking for an affordable tiny house. He's a great guy, he's just looking to basically build homes that are affordable for everyone. Such a cool dude. Yeah, it's really nice. That's like kind of the best part about working for Jenna for a tiny house giant journey is we meet the most amazing people all over the country. And I lied to Jay, he's not the only 10 I see. <laughs> On that note. Oh, Jamie! <laughs> oh, guys! Kelsey's got the wheel. When you let the universe take the wheel and trust everything will work out, you'll find life sort of paves a path for you. You'll look around and pinch yourself, wondering how you got there. But when you look back and connect the dots, you'll realize everything you did led you up to that moment. And before you get to that next moment, sometimes you have to take a second to appreciate it because you can never connect the dots going forward. You just have to let life do that for you. The next day we woke up and filmed Martha, a beautiful person living within the incredible tiny homes community. Um, you can just say it doesn't have any fenders, so it's easy to put the skirt on. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> After two fun days of filming, we said our goodbyes. It's always sad to leave places like this one, but with six tours in six days, we had no time to waste. We set off for another beautiful tiny house community called Aconi Bell. One of the best days ever! 
Located in Mills River, North Carolina, this was another special place with wildlife and trails for days. Four hens up here. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. There they go. It takes us about four hours to film a tour, leaving us just enough time to get our training in. Living in a van is definitely not about comfort, but we're finding the more you do it, the more you get used to it, and the more the discomforts become manageable. I haven't shaved my legs in a week. After day four and tour four, we were definitely feeling a little tired, but we were still in good spirits. Baby, it's time to get out of bed. I gotta go film. <laughs> okay. Come on. It's a cold one this morning. Always makes it harder for Jay to get out of bed. All right, Jay. Yes. <laughs> Day five of six. So we're almost there. So typically during these shoots, Jay does all the filming. I'll do. I'll go back and do a lot of the editing. And we've kind of got a good system down where we each know our roles and it's been making it really, really fun. We've been meeting really fun, awesome people and enjoying our time. Our spirits were lifted even more when we were greeted immediately with tea and scones by M from tour number five. Like we said before, the people are the absolute best part about what we do. Hey, Welcome to the treehouse. Let me show you around. The covered area that you're building. Yeah, okay. How your, your pottery barn is the product that goes with that in the background. Right now, Jay's in there filming some B-roll of the tiny house, and I'm just out here chilling, trying to get out of the way. And I know I've said this before, but definitely one of the best parts of filming for Jenna is the people that we meet. Um, this lady, M, she has a pottery studio that she works out of, and she's just awesome. She's called the, the Dancing Potter. It's just so cute. So you can live in a tiny house and still kind of have a studio that you work out of and not really sacrifice much. All right, guys, number five is done. So we just have a half more to go tomorrow. We had never realized just how beautiful the North Carolina mountains are. We were on our way to Bernardsville for the last tour of the week, but decided to take the scenic Blue Ridge Parkway. It definitely did not disappoint. Sometimes warm up, sometimes deep, deep in the forest. Van life, you are beautiful. Morning. Morning. We stayed at a creek last night and now it's time for the last shoot. We are. All right. Shoot six of six. Let's do it. Do you think I talk funny? Yes. Come on, I'm from England. Six of six done. Nice and easy shoot. So yeah, now we're headed to a very special place. So now might be a good time to tell you guys that like we don't just do YouTube and all that stuff. This is definitely one of our main sources of income. We get to work when we want. If we want to work a whole week like we just have, we pop Jenna a message and we're like, hey, hook us up. And she hooks us up. So this is this is one way we make money on the road. And like for nomadic people, there's so many different ways, whether you're filming with a camera, I don't know, making websites, you're a graphic designer, working on your laptop. There's so many ways to do it as you travel. So apparently this bakery that we're about to head to has the world's largest chocolate eclair and that's something we would never like i feel like we'd never go to this town and like know about that but we learned it from talking to john from oh, i can never say it right Acony a Bell. Acony Bell. 
We learned it from him, so we're excited. The world's biggest chocolate eclair. I gotta see it for myself. Yeah, we gotta go check it out. Out of this feverish dream, you are holding my hand. So I can't really wait to finish my sandwich. I gotta see what's in this. Ready, guys? Wow. That's really good. <laughs> guys, we messed up. So I know we said that we were gonna have the tour video out, but we feel a little sick from that chocolate eclair. And not gonna lie, we're a little bit tore it out from this week. So I'm sorry we don't have it out this week. We want to make it perfect, and we've done six tours already this week, so doing another one for you guys at the van, wouldn't, we wouldn't have done it justice. So hopefully next week we'll have it out. Not going to make any promises this time, and if you celebrate Thanksgiving, happy early Thanksgiving. We'll have the tour out next week. Love you See guys. See you then. Bye. You're my sweetheart. He was driving away without me. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I wasn't in that shot in the van. Jesus.